We've played homebrew games on the 3DS, homebrew games on the Game Boy Advance, but what about homebrew games on the Game Boy, you say? Okay, I'll play some homebrew games on the Game Boy because I want to, not because I'm being forced to. Uh, let's play it on the GBA because uh, you could see it better on the screen. Okay, first game, an Undertale port on the Game Boy. Yeah, you heard that right. Undertale does have, I guess, if you had to label it, a 16-bit graphical style kind of game. And it's the full game, bringing the scene with the flower that tries to trick you in all the tutorial puzzles. The part where she leaves you alone for a bit, the part where you walk to the right a little bit and it says thank you for trying out this pro- Okay, so it's not the whole game, but it shows potential on what homebrew games on the Game Boy have to offer, and a lot of them actually have a dark theme like this game, like this next game called Feed It Souls. Feed It Souls is a platformer, probably one of those that they call Metrovania games, and basically this thing creates you so you can find souls for it to eat. And at first you can't even jump, but the more souls you feed your creator, the more powers you get jumping, wall jumps, etc. The game has an eerie look to it, and it's fun. There's checkpoints in certain areas, so when you hit an enemy or fall into something, you spawn back at the checkpoint. And when you do find a soul, you warp back to the home location where you can save the game and whatnot. You can even unlock different color schemes too, with the, uh, I guess they're eggs you collect. And of course, there's boss battles. Whenever you get hit in the game, you do respawn back at those checkpoints, and you can try again. And the cool thing is, the more power-ups you unlock, the further you go in the game so you can explore a little further with each upgrade. It's a really unique game, and it's worth a playthrough if you're a fan of the 2D action platformers. Another demake on the Game Boy is Animal Crossing. Here you have the intro of the game where you're riding a train to your destination and you input your info into the game. Once you arrive, you can walk around the town and talk to the villagers. You can even go into the store, but you can't really buy anything, and the only other building you can enter is your home. Now it's mainly just a demo and you can explore the first area in the game, but it's a work in progress, and I think it's a really great version of what Animal Crossing could look like on the Game Boy. The creator even put themselves in the game, which is cool. The next homebrew game is a game based on BMO from Adventure Time. Now I watched Adventure Time back when I was a kid, and I never finished the series, so I don't really remember the BMO games, but all I know is that it's a bank now. Is this thing on? The game has a PC desktop layout, and you click on the folders and you can play mini games, which I assume are based off the cartoon. You can also have Bemo's face appear and change the faces on it to resemble the character like in the show. I'm gonna have to rewatch the show fully to uh, see what this game is more about. Now how about some racing games, huh? An F-Zero inspired racing game on the Game Boy called G-Zero. If it had the characters from F-Zero, this game would be F-Zero. The game has the same art style and gameplay, and it's really well done. It has multiple vehicles, cup races, and difficulties. I found myself playing this game quite a bit, and it reminds me of the F-Zero games on the Super Nintendo. This is what I would imagine an F-Zero game would have looked like on the Game Boy. And the best part of the game, which shows just how much dedication went into resemble the F-Zero franchise, is the music. The music tracks are really great. They're really catchy and are true to that F-Zero racing experience. In fact, this is going to be my music I'll listen to in the car from now on. Well, the games definitely didn't disappoint. We've looked at a lot of homebrew games lately on the channel, and it's been a nice change of pace from the official licensed games. Wait, I just remembered. One more game for the Game Boy. I made this game, actually. It's a game where you subscribe to the channel, and you hit A to subscribe. You want to play? Here you go. Go ahead, press subscribe. Just a quick click. Come on now.